back to the channel of ProEnza Vids and this is my thoughts on the official announcement of uh, Manly's new coach in 2023 and that is uh, Anthony Seibold announced for the next three seasons at the club from 2023 through 2025. Um, look, it's uh, from what I've seen from a lot of comments so far and a lot of things are being said by mostly our fans and other people. It's kind of disgusting, to be honest. You know, I, I personally think that people have gone a bit too far. I understand that Seabold's last tenure at the Broncos wasn't good and obviously ended very badly. And, you know, kind of, I guess it wasn't all his fault. I, I personally believe it wasn't all his fault because the board wasn't that supportive of him at the time. And I think the players were a bit out of control at the time as well. But... Look, obviously, things didn't work with him and the Broncos, and obviously, you can say he was at, at fault for a bit there, but I definitely think that, you know, watching his recent interview about um, him coming back to the NRL and being the melee coach and stuff like that, I truly believe that, you know, he's got a point to prove, and I think that he deserves a chance, you know. I, I'm giving him a chance. I'm I'm ready to give him a chance, and, um, you know, I expect, I expect big things in 2023, and I think that having someone, at least with a modern game mindset, mind you, you know, would be beneficial for our squad, unlike the other previous coach. You know, didn't have an idea about the modern game, didn't like or budge with all the young players and player plotters over these players and stuff like that. So I expect now with Seabold here, you know, he drops he drops the players that, you know, you know have to be held accountable for bad performances and stuff like that. So that's what I expect with um, things like this now. But um, look, now obviously... A lot of Manly fans are going to be probably, probably worried about this, and I understand why, because I think they're all worried that it's going to end up like another Peter Sharp, another um, Trent Barrett situation. You know, I can I totally understand that, and obviously Seabold isn't particularly a, a, Manly, a Manly person, doesn't like have Manly history. Even though he was an assistant coach for us for a season, I guess what people probably, or fan, our fans probably would want is someone that has Manly DNA in them and stuff like that, but... Oh, look, I, I believe that you don't have to be a manly person or any sort of person that has DNA to be working at a club to, um, in order to achieve success. I think you can be anyone and, um, you know, you can be anyone at a different club that hasn't played for the club before and I think success will still come either way. So, you know, I'm not necessarily saying that's going to officially or about to be confirmed to happen with Seabold, instant success, but, I mean, that's a dream. But, you know, I think that, you know, it's that you don't have to have someone that has like a, a Bulldogs or a Raiders or a Manly or a Roosters, for example, DNA to be the coach because there's plenty of coaches out there right now that didn't play for that club and, and coached now and have done some big things like Robertson, for example, Bellamy, for example, and stuff like that. And I'm not comparing Seabolt to those guys because obviously them two are a whole a lot level above them, um, above uh, Seabolt. But, you know, it's definitely something where I do believe that you don't have to have some sort of um, club legend or some of the club DNA to be coaching um, a club for success. So, um, you know, you know, I, I think Seabold's going to do a good job. I truly believe, and I think he's the coach that will take us um, to some great heights um, in the future. Um, he'll be the head coach, obviously, for the next three seasons, and Shane Flanagan and uh, Jim Dimmick, who are, you know, both former coaches themselves, and uh, they've also agreed to three-year deals at Manly. So, but, um so Seabold, Flanagan and Dimmick have all agreed on a three on three year deals and will um have their contracts up until two thousand twenty five. Um but with uh Flanagan though, he has a clause in his contract where he can leave any time he wants if he gets a head coaching role somewhere else. So I guess it'd be good to have um uh Flanagan for this next twelve months, uh for two thousand twenty three, because obviously he'll have to stay for the one season twenty twenty three. Um but if he gets somewhere a bigger position like a head coaching role from 2024 or another season then yeah i think that's good for him and that sort of sets him up for something like that um in the future for a head coaching role the year uh, does get one you know um but yeah no look i'm i'm ready i'm ready for it i'm backing seabold i've become a, I, I became a member yesterday I'm, tr I'm i'm truly trusting the changes that are coming into the club i'm trusting what guys like mesdroff are doing obviously i've not 100 percent confident in Penn, but I think he, you know, is, is arranging the right changes for future success. Um, it might sound stupid for me saying that, and I think many fans or anyone that's watching my channel right now or this video might call me an idiot for saying that, but, you know, we, we couldn't work with what we were going through right now, that's for sure. I, I don't think, 
the past um, coach or the past sort of t methods or people we had around the club wasn't going to take us any further. So I think it's good to have a, a shake up, a bit of a change, and I think um, we'll benefit from there and onwards. I reckon. I really do think Seabold's going to do a good job next year. I guarantee he'll do a great job, and he'll shut everyone up. I, I have a big feeling that's going to happen. You know, obviously it's not guaranteed, but. I'm telling you now, he's going to prove a lot of people wrong. Seabold's going to prove a lot of people wrong. Mark my words. Seabold will prove a lot of p people wrong. Mark my words. I, I truly believe that. And uh, I can't wait to see the success and what he can bring to this club. Hopefully some big things. That's all I hope for as a Mealy fan. Look, you, you, choose, you pick and choose if you want to support him or not. But I think as a Manly fan, a passionate Manly fan, the right thing is to, um, is to back him and support him. And I am so... I hope all the, the haters and all the bullies out there that have, you know, sort of ruined his family and, and have said stuff can honestly all um, zip their mouths by the end of um, what he can, what he has achieved. Because I think he's going to do a good job and, um, you know, enough's enough. You know, you, you know, you've already said your bit on what you think about him as a coach. Only judge him as a coach. Don't judge him as a person. Don't judge his family. Don't don't, don't say stuff like that, okay? It's it's just wrong and it's, um honestly, it's, it's awful. And um, I think people forget the whole Paul Green situation, you know? I mean, people don't care about mental health. People don't care about other people's feelings and stuff like that. It's very rare to find one person these days that does care about someone else's feelings and thinks about the words that might might kick in and uh, might affect them, you know? So it's um, yeah, it's, it's obviously a very big, this whole mental stuff thing right now. But anyway, I think Seabold's ready. He did say that he wouldn't have coached again. He didn't think he'd do something good for Manly. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. But anyways, everyone, thanks for watching the video. That's my official thoughts on Anthony Seabold being the next Manly coach. Uh, what do you think about the, the, about the uh, decision? Um, keen to see your thoughts. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your thoughts, like I said.